Hello and welcome to Internet Comment Etiquette. I'm Thick Daddy Salvia, your host, and today we're going to learn all about mansplaining. Now, I have no idea what mansplaining means, so let's see if we can find a reasonable definition online. Mansplaining is when men feel that we have the natural-born right to explain things to a woman that are about women, as well as to talk over and interrupt women as well. Well, there we go. I think that's a reasonable definition. Mansplaining is yet another shit test against men, but it's far worse than other shit tests. What's a shit test? Because I've lived with women, spent 90% of my childhood and teenage years talking to them, and for most of that time I believed that women were being kind to me, but now I understand that they were just patronizing me or trying to use me for something and covering it up by being nice. Well, that got a whole lot less reasonable as it went on, but let's thank him for for the definition that he provided. Thanks for clearing that up, bitch nips. Almost failed a shit test in my pants to this video. Big ups. My favorite part is when you blamed women for all your problems with women. LOL. Fucking Sherlock Holmes over here. And warm up post. Ah, shit. I already forgot what mansplaining means. <laughs> Now, before we get started, let me just quick donate 50 bucks to Planned Parenthood, and that's in order to man save myself from getting bitched at later. I mean, uh, let's look at a video. Mansplaining the science. And I said, play. I'm a guy, and I know why these guys do this. The bottom line is this, lady. Yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm so Calm down a bit here, Kelly. If it's a legitimate rape. I'll let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos. All right, it's nice to have a visual to understand what it is that we're trying to comprehend here. What the science shows is that mansplaining isn't an overused word flaming the gender wars. It's a cultural reference point that illustrates how women are more likely to be interrupted, less likely to speak, and are continuously robbed of the benefit of the doubt. It explains a nagging, sinking uncertainty that millions of smart, capable women feel all too frequently. All right, well, I'm sure the comment section is going to be a rich tapestry of interesting and thought-provoking conversation. Well, fucking speak up then, you cunts! Go dry your vagina. Shut the fuck up! Women that believe in this are fat and unwanted to begin with. Fuck off! Jesus fucking Christ, it's like a bomb went off in here. All right, well, let's see if I can help these boys prepare for the shit SATs. Damn, I haven't seen this many pissed off dudes since the last time Amy Schumer opened her mouth. Are you guys on some kind of mailing list that tells you when to fuck up comment sections, or is this just the natural state of things online? I wouldn't know because I don't waste all my fucking time calling women cunts on YouTube between popping facials on my anime sex pillow. I've never seen a YouTube video proven so effectively by its own comment section, but yo, check it out. All your mothers are whores, and if my girlfriend ever gets pregnant, I'm gonna mansplain to her that she needs to take a fucking dive. LOL, the CIA has all your phones tapped, and you've got mail, but spelled... M-A-L-E. You get it? You get it? Eh? <laughs> Alright, what's the next video? Why mansplaining is bullshit. By no bullshit. Unless you're on Tumblr or in some SJW Facebook group, you don't know what to make of all these fake bullshit phrases social justice warriors come up with. Mansplaining, patriarchy, misogyny, heteronormative, gender binary, toxic masculinity, institutional racism. Off to a great start already. Mansplaining is a made up word feminists use to silence men. It's pretty sexist, actually. Oh, you're talking about men wanting or liking to explain everything like yes, that. Yes, huh? that's exactly what I'm talking about. Mmm, yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I don't get it. Is that thing supposed to be who's talking to us? Because that's ridiculous. My producer, who is a man. And he's a Jew. Shocker. A Jewish man working for a media company in Manhattan. Doesn't get much more stereotypical yeah, than right, that. Yeah, that, alright, that's enough of that. I'm gonna leave my comment. I got accused of mansplaining because I was trying to tell this girl that having a vagina doesn't make her special. I mean, I've got an asshole and there's basically no difference between vaginas and assholes. They both do the same things and don't even tell me men don't understand childbirth because I ate two pounds of cheese at my buddy Jake's house and the next day I swear I pooped out twins. Oh, by the way, that weird other can avatar of yours is one of the most obnoxious fucking things I've ever seen in a YouTube video. You realize the irony of representing yourself with a character that's literally bullheaded, right? Also, good job picking your dream body. I mean, who the fuck are you trying to fool here? Can't wait for the 100k subscriber special where you live stream your balls dropping, you savage garden backup singer sounding bitch ass narc motherfucker. You should call this channel No Testosterone. One love Salvia and I'm out like any girl unfortunate enough to catch you as a blind date. And mansplain! Woo! Man, I had no idea this was gonna be such a fun topic. Let's keep going. Let's, what's next? Handling manterrupting. Manterrupting, huh? Well, I didn't know there were so many terms reserved specifically for things that men do. I, I wonder what man interrupting is. Oh, I think I was talking over her explaining it actually. Is though we're not even there. I remember the first time this Yeah, happened. whatever. Next video. Five ways to shut down a mansplainer. By fusion. I can already feel the white hot rage bubbling from the comments section below. Let's take a look at the video real quick. Here's what we have coming up in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, what I think... I'm just gonna keep going here, Dave. But... So, so well, I, yeah, if... No. And now the comments. Fuck you, I don't need your cunt splaining. You all need to die. Was she on her period while making this real? Stop gender shaming with your sexist term, cunts. And so the gender war rages on. Let me do some reporting from the front lines here. 
Hey, I'm a girl and I'd love to date any of the strong opinionated men in this comment section. There's nothing I like more than a guy whose response to a video like this is to shit all over women. You could take a whitewater rafting adventure down my big old wet puss place the way this kind of talk's got me going. I'm sure you've all got girlfriends who you fearlessly share these YouTube comments with and bitch mark me down as jealous. I mean, you guys really have women figured out and that they're all screeching harpies that want to take your balls and 9-11 them right back into your hearts until you're just a bunch of baby juice turkey basters under the enslavement of womankind. Can't wait to see how you guys respond to the upcoming Glenn Gary Glenn Ross remake with an all-female cast. Chances are you're gonna need some crazy man experimental drugs from India to keep the blood out of your anger boners when that trailer drops and mansplain! Alright, well I think we're really peeling back the layers of what mansplaining is, but uh, I can't know for sure until I've had some real human interactions on the internet, talked face-to-face -face with some women, asked them what they think mansplaining is and how it affects them and why it makes them so uncomfortable, and then let them know that, like, hey, we don't mean anything by it. And my favorite way to have human interactions is, of course, younow.com. Let's go. What does mansplaining mean? I have no idea. What's mansplaining? I don't, I don't know what that is. What does mansplaining mean? I'm not sure. I didn't know that was a thing. What is it? Um, so it's when you hire a guy to stand on your door frames, so you get thrown in the What? Hey, what's man's planing? I have no idea. I've never heard of that. Actually, it's when I trap my cat in Pringles in a Pringles can and send it back to the Pringles factory with a note attached asking for a refund. Why would you do that? Yo, bro, what's mansplaining mean? I don't know what mansplaining means, but it's not a thing. Can you just give me a random definition? Because so far, I haven't found a single person who knows what it means. Mansplaining is just a feminist definition for, for a guy explaining something. That they 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 uh, disagree with. Congrats on your boy's D. Hey, what? More power to you, boy. I don't. Whatever it makes you hard. Can someone mansplain to me why we're watching and didn't sleep in the car? No one fucking gives a shit. Comment the. Kid. All right, note to self, never ask questions to people on you now ever again. All right, we got time for one more video. Let's make it count. This is Women Try Man Spreading for a Week by BuzzFeed. Oh, well, man spreading's not real. That's just bullshit. Man spreading is when a man spreads his physical body to take up as much space as humanly possible. No, I don't believe in man spreading. Don't believe it. Not real. The very first day where a group of people came on, they were going to a game and they were all desperate for a seat and I was taking up three seats and they started talking about personal space. That's not even man spreading. That's just you taking up a bunch of fucking seats. To the man that's taking up too much space on a bus, on the plane, on the bench, we see you. Oh, you bet I got a comment for this. Oh, nope. Comments disabled. Well, I guess that makes sense considering uh, every comment section that we've seen so far, but unfortunately, I still have a comment that I'd like to leave. So why don't we find another piece of hard-hitting journalism from BuzzFeed and we'll leave our comment there. Here we go. Is a hot dog a sandwich? I think hot dogs are sandwiches. And I think hot dogs are not sandwiches. I believe that hot dogs are sandwiches. Tell you what, if my son ever got a job at BuzzFeed, I'd change my name and then make a new son. If you want a hot dog, how will you tell that to your friends? I would say I want a hot dog. So hot dog is a hot dog, not a motherfucking sandwich. What, what is the purpose of this video? Who is the guy who's holding a mic? I want his hot dog. One dollar dildo versus ten dollar dildo. All right, well, I've got my mancer ready. Hey, oh, popped a nasty nut to this video and I got a big old man stain on my carpet. I'd get my boyfriend to clean it up, but he's too busy marching for breeder rights. Don't forget to like this comment if you're a boy and share if you're a girl. By the way, hot dog is not a sandwich. If anything, it's a taco, you fucking idiots. And post! Ow! I think I just man sprained my pinky! Oh, well, it was worth it for that comment. I'm totally man satisfied with that one. Now, in conclusion as to whether mansplaining is a real problem on the internet and how to deal with it, I would say, uh, I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not a girl. Just kidding, it's time for the comment quiz of the week! What do you think is the first comment that you'll see if you scroll down right now on this video page? Is it A, ugh, Salvia went full SJW cuck. Unsob. B, uh, man spreading is real, you anti-feminist shitlord. Unsobbed. C, lol, what fucking side is this dude on? Unsub. Or D, uh, yep, I get it now. Unsub. All right, no cheating now, and the answer is E. This video has been age restricted. What? What the fuck? Why? Tick tick tock. It's Elvia O'Clock. Slapping around Scully with my digital cock. 9/11 inside job. Click click. Spend three fucking hours bouncing on my boy's dick. Big money, Elvia, king of the night. Rolling his kingdom with an iron fist.